video, or sorry, hi guys, long time no see, but for today's video, uh, we are gonna go look for a car for my little brother. He's been driving my parents' Camry for a long time now, he has his license for about probably two or three years now actually, but he wanna get something a little bit more fun, something for his own, uh, something manual. He has practiced manual for a little bit on my old TC, I taught him in that car. He definitely could use more practice though. He was kind of getting it, but still needs more seat time. But today we're gonna go look for a car for him. It's gonna be a manual. We already saw the car on the internet. We're just gonna go to the dealership and look at it real quick and we'll see how it goes. He already has money saved up for it. He's been working hard and um, I think it should be an easy transaction for him. But for now, it's just gonna be a matter of finding the right car, so. We're gonna go see the first car right now. And the first car we're looking at is a 2016 Scion TC. I mean, this is actually a really good car for him. It's like really easy to drive, easy to learn. Six speed manual, of course. It comes with a spoiler. He's getting it, not bad. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. I taught you well. And the good thing that it's come with a spoiler because usually if let's say if I were to get that car myself, I would probably get that spoiler first. And I think the only thing that I need is uh, to, to get it painted. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but the exhaust kind of popped. I don't know if that's a TRD or stock. But there's a slight pop there earlier. The wheels definitely have to go. Those wheels are super ugly it sounds pretty good from outside if he can manage this car I think he'll be just fine well this is the first car that we looked at we haven't seen anything else Ow. yeah the stock exhaust if that is stock exhaust it sounds pretty decent not too loud. It's really hard to hear from inside though. But on the outside, it's actually not bad. So we were at the dealership and then I drove it around for a little bit on the street. We test the uh, the ride, the smoothness of the ride, uh, see if there's anything wrong with it. And now we park at this random school parking lot so he can test it out. Honestly, it sounds pretty decent. I, I like it. We don't know if we're gonna get it yet. We still have other cars that we're gonna look at, but it's the first one that we're looking at. And uh, I think he's liking it. I like it, but we'll see. All right, well, the second car we're looking at is a 2012 Civic Si. The interior looks not bad. Pretty clean. Yeah, it's a black car, so don't expect to be like, easily kept clean or anything. The wheels does look like stock though. I think it's stock, I'm not sure. But it's definitely been painted black. <laughs> I don't want to know what kind of stain that is. A typical cloth seat. It's probably the same material as the uh, the armrest. There's no screen, so if you want to change to Apple CarPlay or anything, you might have to change the whole thing over there. This generation Honda Civic Si is actually one of my favorite for two door version because of the front end and how the front end design is. Though. Yeah, the interior looks not bad. From what I know about these generation SIs, that when Honda is actually kind of cheaping out on interior quality, because all these are hard touch plastic and the armrest even like is covered with like some kind of cloth, same seat material, but it's like still hard. I'm betting that this is also, yeah, hard as well. So comfort wise, it's not going to be as great, but. He's a kid, so he's probably not gonna buy this car for comfort that much. Stock. Stock. But well, that's good. Yeah. 
know, the engine does look like it's been kept clean. Looks pretty dry. Doesn't leak. I'm not sure about the back. I hope it doesn't burn oil. I don't know if these engines are known for burning oil. I, I hope not. I don't think they are. 2.4 K24 something. I know there's a Z in there. <laughs> K24. Yeah, overall doesn't look that bad. This could be a good option. It does have five previous owners. Is that right? Five previous owner? Yeah. It comes with tinted window already. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I'm guessing this is probably about 20% maybe even darker actually because I know my Civic right now is 15% this looks a little bit darker so I'm gonna guess 10% probably no definitely not 5 I don't know shout out to PDX Motors for letting us check out this car we don't know if we're gonna drive it yet um, we just want to take a look we're not gonna waste anybody time this is only the second car we're looking at for now it looks slightly dirty, so it's kind of hard to see all the dents and stuff. And because it's Honda paint, I'm not expecting to have like a perfect clear coat condition. Overall, the body line looks straight. damage to the rear hmm. spoiler slightly popped off probably from the rear end damage probably got slightly rear-ended but overall the rest of the body looks good Probably has been popped out once. I mean, five previous owner. I'm pretty sure they did mess with it a little bit. Yeah, interior in here, even though it looks nice, but it does feels quite cheap. Storage space slightly shallow. You do have an outlet in the uh, USB thing back there. You don't have a screen. I mean, I don't think that's a big deal. The seat, the seat does feel nice though. Just like uh, like it extended all the way up to here for my short legs, and I can feel uh, support for behind my knee. So comfort wise, I think it should be okay. You have a sunroof. I don't like how it's like black tone right here, and then it went to gray up here. Overall, I think it's okay. Hard as hell though. I mean, even the TC is hard, so I'm not expecting too much. But interior quality, my Civic is definitely better. And my old TC is definitely better too. But this thing is probably faster. Who knows? The seat does feel nice. It does feel nice. The seat doesn't hurt my back. <laughs> Anyways, I think we might go see another car, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this 2012 Honda Civic. You do look like a fuckboy in a Civic Si. Like a hot boy, kind of a fuckboy. Huh? I can see that. Yeah. Especially with that hair, fucking Kevin Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool though, the key thing lights up red too. The keyhole. Yeah. I 
like how the uh the stereo and then the other vents ac vents kind of like curves into into the driver kind of feels like a cockpit yeah my civic kind of do that but this one i think they do a little bit more so it feels more like a cockpit that is a nice touch yeah i said this is a good option it's not bad maybe because i'm old but the armrests and even by the door they're all like really hard but if you're wearing a jacket and you're like long sleeve i think you should be fine but it is kind of hard this is falling out yeah the seats though i do say in long like long term and longer drive i i do think that this seat will be you know, feel a little better than a TC, but the TC is qu quite comfortable too. But this might be a little bit better. And the seatbelt, how the the seatbelt thing right there is all low. I don't think that's gonna cut your neck. The TC is a little higher, so when you go down like that, it'll cut into your neck. It happened with my old TC, and I think it also happened with a new TC too. Like it's more on your shoulder, huh? Yeah, it's like nowhere near my neck. Yeah. I like how the shift knob is a bit smaller than the TC. Yeah. The TC's like that. Well, the, the TC we looked at has at the market shift knob. Oh, yeah. So I think they're about the same size, but Honda shifter should be really good compared to Toyota's. And that's coming from a Toyota guy. Yeah, I can totally see him driving this. <laughs> this car though, compared to the TC, does look more, I guess more lower, low slung. Uh, TC is more, uh, not boxy, it's just more higher and bulkier. This one looks more sleeker. Once, you know, if he ever modified it and lower it for a little bit, I think it would look great. Adding a little bit more of a, a body kit, like a lip kit, I think it would look pretty good. Same thing too for the TC, but I think this is going to look more sleeker because of the uh, the fastback styling. Anyways, let's go see car number three now. And for the third car, we are here at ClearPath Pro, it's a used dealership. I think they have a connection with Beaverton Toyota, uh, that where I used to work for as a salesman. And I actually know the guy that was just with us. He used to be the former GM for Beaverton Toyota. It's kind of great to see him again. He was one of my favorite. But yeah, we are checking out this 2000... Crap, I forgot the year. But it's a Mazda Speed 3. Comes with a uh, 6 feet, or is it 5 feet? 6 feet manual, I think. Um, turbo, 2.3 liter. It's actually really clean. Uh, we got the Carfax right away. He came from Texas originally. Big spoiler in the back. Overall, everything looks clean. Start the back seat here. Has a mixture of um, leather and cloth. Oh, it kind of feels like cloth. It feels a little different too, actually. Yeah, compared to the Civic Si and the Scion TC, this is really nice. Nice and soft. Up here it's hard, but that's fine. You do have cup holder. Red, black interior. I like the. Uh, design some might think it's kind of weird but I kind of like it actually big spoiler looks good it looks good even I know for sure that's stock wheel but even the stock wheel looks kind of nice too dual exit exhaust push that to open a trunk it's a hatchback I already have a cover Kind of spacious. I don't know where that's from, but yeah. I'm assuming that's the lock. Yeah, actually, it is a lock. Someone must have put in that guard. 
still hard up here, but nice and soft down here. Mazda Speed 3. Kind of sporty seats, actually. Yeah, I like it when seats are extended further so you support your uh, behind your knee. Jimmy looks good in this car too. Six speed manual. I used to love these. In the center, you do have a center leather cover. Kind of hard if you push it hard enough, but the leather kind of squishy, so it's better than the Civic and the TC. Lots of control on that uh, steering wheel. And there's a screen up here. Nice um, sport pedals, aluminum pedals, and they didn't cheap out on the dead pedal. A lot of company cheap out. So that's good. How many miles does this thing have? 80,408. 80, What's the price again? Uh, 14,000? 14, 14, That's actually not bad. I actually kind of like this. It sucks that they have no sunroof, but... 16. Oh, 16,000. That's still okay. I like the 14 better. <laughs> I know, and it has push start button. I think you won't need your key to uh, get in and out. If they have that, uh, maybe a little button or something on the doorknob outside. size club compartment. The seat does feel nice. Like doesn't hurt my back or anything. Nice and straight back. It has aluminum door seal. Very sporty. A little, little, uh, enough room for a cup holder. If I'm not mistaken, you turn on the headlight, there should be lights coming out of this bar. Yeah. I'm a little jealous if you get this. Not that I'm trying to sell it to you or anything. Something is broken up here. This little bu button up here is came off. You probably have to replace that. And I think there is a little. Uh, I think it's called the dome light. Yeah. See. Turn on the headlight. A little blue so brighten up this whole cabin or this whole section right here huh you flick it backward it should be the same as any Japanese car Toyota and stuff Oh, there's an ox back here. Uh. And then there's another, um, another big ox thing. Ox cord charging. And I believe this is your phone holder. There's an aftermarket phone holder on that side, so you just clip that thing in. It's kind of nice how they give you this little tray right here for your. Uh, it will probably fit a phone. Or some extra stuff like coins and whatnot. What's really cool is that well the clip here did broke so it won't fully lock sadly but if you press this inside it can slide forward. I think it would be easier if you put the handbrake down but at least it's kind of nice it will lock back in place if you push it all the way back. Yeah, you might want to get something else for that thing. Oh, dude. It has navigation. It 
tiny little navigation. And if I'm not mistaken, that thing could also be a backup camera if there is a backup camera. I didn't look in the, I didn't fully look in the back, but it probably is a backup camera. You even got a side mirror turn signal. That's kind of nice. I really like the wheels. For stock wheels, these are not bad looking. And I would I wouldn't even want to paint it black at all. I'll probably keep the color the way it is. What size are these? They are 225 40 18s. These are 18s. And these are 40 sidewalls. Kinda of thin. If you ever wanna change the tires might cost a little bit more and I think he'll probably need to change the tires soon well he yeah, should be okay I think he should be okay it looks a little bald but if you look more carefully it should be a little bit of life left probably been sitting for a while and see a little bit of rust on the brake Yeah, overall, I think it's not bad. We are gonna pay cash, so we're not gonna finance this one. He's gonna pay cash. It's gonna be for him. sounds kind of decent yeah that actually sounds pretty good i like it for his block exhaust actually and i can hear, kind of hear the turbo swoosh or whatever you call it yeah there's a little button here that you can press to lock and unlock that's kind of nice you want to hear how it sound yeah all right go back there is stopped kind of nice the PSI gauge it sounds good in here too wow man you know what if he get this I, uh, he got my full support <laughs> and it's not that much miles 80 I mean it is kind of high but for his first own car that he's gonna buy this is actually not bad. Looks dry up here. It's kinda nice to be able to see in the back a little bit. I don't know much about Mazda engine guys, so forgive me if I sound dumb, I think. Either way, I sound dumb when it comes to the engine overall. What's this? Oh, battery cover. A few moments later. It's just a battery cover. Not bad. Open that what engine's on. That looks fine, yeah. 80,000 can't be too bad. What's cool about this thing in black is that you can't see a big smiley face, so it looks slightly more aggressive. I mean, I like white cars, but if I were to get this, I'd probably get that too. It has like a, the bottom lip kit already. You just need a little bit in the front and the back to match up. Bottom or the bottom. There you go. Yeah, that's not automatic, brother. <laughs> I like it. I 
I can already see like the kind of modification I want to do already even though it's gonna be your car if you buy it but <laughs> well Baba was pretty nice to let us take uh, the car out for a test drive without any salesman <laughs> without him around I mean he was busy too and uh well I drove us here that's my girlfriend chilling but Jimmy gonna have a go Got it. That's without anybody in the car to help him out too. <laughs> I think he stopped. <laughs> oh no, he didn't. I thought he did. It sounds so quiet for a second. The car does sound really good from the outside. Oh, sorry, I'm just paying attention to the car in person. I forgot to work the camera. Maybe the parking is not big enough for him to go to second. This isn't a slow car. I actually pushed it a little bit earlier and it's actually pretty quick. The front tires look kind of flat though. I do like that spoiler too. Oh, he's pushing it more now. Every time he slowed down, it sounds so quiet. I'm so scared that he stalled the car. But he didn't. He's actually doing pretty well. Was it easy to drive? Get it going. But it's a lot more sensitive. Yeah, the gas pedal, right? Yeah, yeah. More sensitive than the TC. Yeah. But I think you'll get used to it. It is one of those cars that is hard to rev match. I don't know if my foot is too small, but the space between the two pedals is actually not that wide. But for some reason, I have a hard time trying to ref match it. But I'm more used to the this motion, but I think this, you have to go like this. I think they're going. Gonna yeah. practice. I think you got it. You just, yeah, you just need more seat time on your own in the actual street. Thing try to get out of like first and second it's like going third and fourth and fifth and sixth and stuff how do you like the feel though? how do you like the ride? it's smooth it's smooth? It's smooth yeah. yeah it's quick yeah I pushed it earlier I felt that turbo kick and it's pretty quick I actually don't think I've ever driven a turbo car before now yeah. that I think about it yeah is the turbo car usually more like more sensitive than oh I don't know well, once the turbo spooled up, like when I start shifting to uh, third from second, yeah. the turbo gauge went all the way up. I don't know how far it went up, but once I looked down, it was all the way up, and then that's when I released the clutch. It was like, Shoo. this thing's quick. I think it was just an aftermarket exhaust and uh, some suspension, maybe different wheels. You'd be looking good, man. I'm not selling it to you though. I think I'm already sold. <laughs> no, Bobek's a good guy. Uh, when he was a GM at Beaverton Toyota, I, I actually like him a lot. I wish he stayed. I would have stayed if he stayed. And I wouldn't mind if we buy a car from him again too. Well, anyways, uh, that's the third car. I think this is probably going to be at least two or three part series before we find the right car for Jimmy. I mean, right now, all I. The only day off that I have is Thursday and for Thursday I have to find things to do so it's hard for me to actually vlog and edit. That car sounds really good. But yeah, when I do have time that's when I start filming but as you can see my clothes are different 
because the first, second, and this car, we're looking at it on a different day, different week even. So it will take a little bit of time for us to find out uh, what's the right car for him. But right now, he seemed to like this car. He seemed to like every car he looked at. So far, I think the Honda Civic is the third place. The TC second, and this one is looking really good right now for the miles and uh, I guess the coolness of the car. But I like it. I like this one too. So far, everyone we looked at, I like. So, anyways, I think that's it for the car. We're gonna go return this one. We'll see how Jimmy's gonna think about it. He might or might not get it. Who knows? Is there a part two to this series? We'll see.